Hey, I got a quick video here of a simple free-to-air satellite setup in Newfoundland, Canada, in St. John's, receiving the Galaxy 19 satellite in this video. I got this dish and LNB new on eBay for relatively cheap, although shipping to Newfoundland was a lot of the cost. There's a good bit to understand about FTA if you want to do it right. Newfoundland isn't really the ideal place because you need a bigger dish. The satellites are low on the horizon. Some are actually below the horizon and you can't even get them at all. And actually, if you mount this particular dish correctly here, it's not even very useful because it can't tilt to a low enough elevation. So I had to actually rig it up now temporarily in a way that does work. But uh, I was also having to look into mounting it upside down. This particular dish doesn't have the proper accommodation for low elevations, but there are some you can buy that do. Either it tilts down far enough or they give you instructions to mount upside down or the mounting bracket that comes with it allows for that. This one does not, so kind of had to do some special rigging to get it to work, but it's fine. I'm not planning to keep it up permanently, at least not right now. And so back to Galaxy 19, that's quite a popular satellite because it's easy to receive and it carries quite a few channels, about 150 TV and radio channels total, although most of them are not too interesting to me anyway, but I'm more actually interested in the hobby itself, so it's cool to turn on and do some channel surfing. When I first got this, I was using a smartphone app and also a website called dishpointer.com to aim the dish. For the receiver here, I'm using the Amigo Mini HD, which came from eBay as well. It has the satellites and transponders preloaded. Overall, it's pretty simple to aim, do a scan for channels, and once that's done, you're good to go. Originally, it was much more difficult. When I first got the dish, I didn't really know much about it, but now that I understand how everything lines up, I know now where to point the dish, and I can actually get it going pretty quickly. Like I mentioned, Galaxy 19 in particular doesn't have much decent content in my opinion, but other KU band satellites do have some surprises like network feeds. Some are on C-band, which requires an even bigger dish. If you have the proper elevation and setup, you can actually get some cool stuff with just a KU dish, but it's challenging in Newfoundland. I will link in the description as well to some of the channel lists that I've browsed so you can see what's actually available. This hobby can definitely get complex and expensive, especially if you want to pick up channels from multiple satellites. You really need a motor or some kind of multi LNB thing or just to keep moving the dish around. I don't know that it's worth it here in Newfoundland. Personally, I haven't been able to test much else yet because I don't have good sky exposure in this particular spot to check for other satellites from here. I do know, like I said, some of them are below the horizon, so they're definitely out. But I'd like to test some other ones at some point just to see what's actually practical to get here. Galaxy 19 is pretty much the easiest to get. So the fact that we can get that here isn't overly surprising. And I was able to get 16 as well. That's only about a couple of degrees off of where 19 is. So that's quite simple, but it doesn't really have many channels on it. Even still today, every now and then I do see a KU band FTA dish around town. It's not very common. In rural areas, I've seen some cool giant C-band dishes, which I don't even know if they're in use anymore, but probably once upon a time they were using them maybe to pick up NTV or when that was available on satellite or something else. They're definitely an interesting piece of history if they're not being used anymore. I'd like to have access to one of those C-band dishes to try out, see uh, what we can pick up with those. But in the meantime, the KU is pretty cool just as a hobby, much more easier to maneuver and mount and see what's out there in space. 